What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walk through the 2022, maybe 2023 edition, I don't know. Let's find out. Anywho, in our last episode, we managed to complete the whole Team Rocket situation right here in Goldenrod. We went to the radio tower, first time, beat him, card key, go down, under key basement, or an underground basement, save the director, and then, well, saved all of Pokemon kind in Johto, I think. Because I guess, I guess can't, or Johto is a nation and all that stuff. So, here's the thing, guys. In Pokemon Crystal, you won't be able to go to the, uh, you won't be able to go to Blackthorn City or even at Route 44 until you complete this. And that is, there is something going on over at the Tin Tower at Acrotech City. Now, I did mention in the last episode that I was going to be bringing in a capture team for this specific situation. I didn't, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get this headache. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to deal with it. So, I brought in some reinforcements. And, uh, well, take a look at this, guys. We got ourselves a few guys that we've seen in the past. Poly Swag. Smoke. Nessie, how's it going? Ultra Psycho. And... Last but not least, well, we got Hydra right here, the Red Gyarados. So, here's the thing, guys. Originally, I was going to trade some of the yellow Pokemon here into Crystal, but I was like, I kind of figured, well, there's kind of two, there's two things, and I can't believe I forgot all of this, all right? There are two things that went into this whole process of trading these Pokemon. One... I'm going to be using the Pokemon Yellow uh, Pokemon that I've had on my team later on in, in this walkthrough right here. But two, this is pre pretty much the reason to why we were not playing Pokemon Stadium 2 or 1. Because I realized that the file got corrupt a while back. I think this was like after I did the whole Celebi event. And I couldn't trade any Pokemon. I couldn't do much except for just switch out Pokemon from the PC and all that stuff. So I thought to myself, it was much. Be it's much better if I just, you know, grab some Pokemon that I have right here in the game, the in-game Pokemon, and not trade them uh, so often from Pokemon Stadium 2 because it does mess up with the graphics. It does uh, kind of corrupt the file. And the last thing I need is for Pokemon Crystal to be corrupted yet again. And uh, for me to like cancel this game altogether. But the reason why I got all four of these Pokemon, including Hydra 2, is for the sheer fact that they, they're movesets. Plus, you've noticed that they're mostly water type Pokemon. As you can see, Poliswag right here has Rain Dance, Hypnosis, Water Gun, Body Slam. Just off its Hypnosis and Body Slam itself, it should tell you that, yeah, we're planning on doing something pretty good with, like, trying to put this Pokemon to sleep or par paralyze it if things get nasty. Now, Suicune is a Water-type Pokemon, so it will be using some stuff, you know, like Rain Dance. Smoke right here, Hypnosis, Lick, Mean Look, and all that stuff. We will be using this Pokemon a little more often when it comes to the roaming Pokemon. And... As you guys can see, its speed is right up there. So that this is another Pokemon that we, we actually do need for the long run and all that stuff. Nessie, we bring her back from our original Pokemon Crystal. And, well, let's see. Hold on just a sec, guys. Yes? Hello? Huh? Because I haven't gotten to him yet, man. I'm freaking out. I got myself a new laptop. <laughs> no, I'm gonna... No. Well, I'm gonna get him to you, alright? Because I got the new lap... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, crap, baskets. Am I, am I in the doghouse now? No, no. No. No, I will get him to you tonight, tonight, since I got my laptop updated and everything. Yeah, and it and they will be edited too. <laughs> Alright man. Later, go Niners. <laughs> Goddamn fooler. Okay, coming back, I got a phone call, you know, from the mother. Anywho, Lapras or Nessie right here is a very special kind of Pokemon because it's both water and ice type. And yes, it, it, you know, 
I kind of feel like going in with a bulky Pokemon, especially with the same typing, will actually help us out right here just a little bit. And then, bam, we got Ultra Psycho. Now, this Pokemon right here, as you can see, has some pretty good moves. It has Disable, Future Sight, Recover. I could use this Pokemon for, you know, just messing around with Suicune just a little bit. We're trying to be strategic here, guys. Now, the reason why we got Hydra in both uh, Chico right here is for very obvious reasons. Hydra has Dragon Range. That automatically takes 40 HP, so it's just, you know, it's going to be easy for us to just use. That way we can weaken Suicune, and then bam, we got ourselves Chico, just in case we need to, you know, buff it up or, you know, reflect and all that stuff. You guys know my madness right here. So... Let's go right ahead and take care of business. Let's go ahead and ride our bike. Now, I get it. I know. We could use fly, but I... I kind of want to actually... I kind of actually want to ride my bike and go through some uh, Pokemon... Uh, I actually want to go through some, uh, some of these places right here because chances are we might run into one of the legendary dogs. And with that being said, let's put smoke in the front. See if it's at, at least fast enough to actually catch up to one of these guys and well we've been here before you know champions of the book catching contest and all that stuff so let's go right ahead and take care of that yeah we're purposely going through the grass for you know the legendary dogs and all that stuff so here we go normally you would see Suicune right up there and nothing and like I said guys it's nothing so this is just in case we you know we run into the legendary dogs and here we are, Route 37, and bam, Ecritic City. So, there is something big going on inside the Tin Tower, and they used to have two Tin Towers. Yeah, okay, I, I, I don't need to do anything like that. So, let's go right ahead and strategize on this whole situation right here. So, I'm going to put Smoke. I'm actually going to put Nessie in first, because it does have Sing. And there's a chance that this, you know, this Pokemon might buff up its stats with Rain Dance. So, if you go right here, talk to this guy. A momentous event has occurred. I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Dot, 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 dot. Ah. The sound of the clear bell. It, it's sublime. I've never heard so beautiful uh, a sound before. That bell's chime is indicative of the bear's soul. You. You may be able to make it through the Tin Tower. Please do go on. Alrighty, so we get permission to come in here. And now, this is where it's going to get really fun, because crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. I completely forgot about these three dudes. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to be battling with our... Oh, we got a chance to see our Pokemon. Alright, let's do this. Bring it on. Legend has it that upon emergence of a, a trainer who has the ability to touch the souls of Pokemon, a Pokemon will come forth to put that trainer to the test at the Tin Tower. The legend has come true. The legendary Pokemon Suicune has arrived. We, the wise trio, shall test your worth worthiness to go on inside. Alrighty, bring it on. So, <laughs> It looks like we're going to be seeing all our Pokemon in battle. Look at that, and uh... Alright, let's go Noctowl. Bring it on. Let's go Nessie. It has been a while, we haven't seen you since, uh, well... Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> the original version, and let's go with a Body Slam right here. And you are paralyzed, my good friend. Yes, okay. Yes. And here comes a Reflect Attack, which of course will raise its defense, so it's gonna be a little... A little, a little different right here. So let's go straight for a Confuse Ray. Yes. It's working. It's working. And well, there we go. Confuse. You're going to hurt yourself a little more. And the Foresight hits us. Mm, so we're going to be identified. And well, let's go straight for a Parasong right here. Mm hmm. So this Pokemon will be uh, fainting in three turns right here. So. The thing is, we gotta switch this Pokemon out, and if this if this trainer is smart enough, you'll switch this Pokemon out too. So there we go. Confused. Hurt yourself, please. And yes, it hurt itself. Okay, so Paris Song has gone down to two. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon to Ultra Psycho right here. 
Alrighty, it's been a while, Ultra Psycho. Okay, and you are confused, my good friend, and paralyzed at the same time, so you're hurting yourself. Alright, you got one more, and the reflect has gone off, so let's go with the future site right here, and yes, he was smart enough to actually switch out his Pokemon right here, so let's go with a future site, and let's go Psybeam Attack right here. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Ultra Psycho, you, 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 you're, you're better in Pokemon Crystal, and, well, it kind of sucks because, yeah, <laughs> dark type attacks work on you, and there we go, side, side beam, for the win. Alrighty. So, we're going to be going up against a Noctowl, that Noctowl has something coming to it. So, let's go to Hydra number two right here. Mm-hmm. All right, Hydra, you don't have to do anything except stand pretty. All righty, there we go, shiny, look at that. And you get hit with the future sight. You see, strategy, guys, it always works. Never thought that I would be doing that, and there we go. Let's go with a bite attack. We don't need to waste any of our, like, good moves and stuff, and bam. Oh, wow. Okay, you flinched. How are you that... Oh, God. So there we go. We have defeated Noctel. Yes. And, well, look at that, Gaku, he's like, stronger than we thought, perhaps. Perhaps what? Ah, so it is you who, uh, who do claim that seeing Entei, or Suicune, Entei, and Raiko while they slept. Unbelievable. Legend has it that they can't be seen while, they're, while they sleep. And just like that, we get attacked by another guy, he's like, can you be trusted with the truth? I must be, as, I must ascertain your worthiness. Okay, these big vocabulary words that I should have learned back in grade school. Yeah, they're coming back right now So here we go take it on Masa and isn't Masa like, you know, like dough or something Let's go any of my Spanish speakers comment down below and well Let's go with a body slam right here. How's it going Nessie? It's been a while And oh nearly oh wow, huh? Okay, so you are paralyzed again and, well, here comes a peck attack. You're not gonna get much right there. So, here we go. Body slam again. I probably should have taught it a few good moves, but I this is the reason why we got Nessie right now with just one move. We don't really need much. And, well, Foresight's hitting us again. Let's go again. Body slam. And, bam. For the win, Nessie wins it. Yes. Okay, so... Moss is coming out with a Jolteon. We don't need any of that mess, so let's go to the man that can save it all, Chico. And here's Jolteon. Alright, Chico. Time to, do your, time to do your thing. Alrighty. Here we go. Razor Leaf attack, and yeah, that sand attack is gonna hit us. Oh my god, and Razor Leaf. Bam, hits it. Mm -hmm. And it is a critical hit. Let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with a body slam, and well, of course, he's going to be doing a double kick. Yeah, okay, body slam for the win! And just like that, Jolteon has been defeated. And yes, we get more experience points, which is nice, and I will tell you the truth, but can you handle it? Lexi, in the past, there were two nine-tier towers. The Brass Tower, which was said to awaken uh, Pokemon, and the Tin Tower, that were that were Pokemon were to say to sleep. The view from the tops of the towers must have been magnificent. Magnific well, I can't even say it. Magnificent. Yes, there it is. At the time, an immense silver-colored Pokemon was said to make its roost atop the, bar the Brass Tower. However, about 150 years ago, a lightning bolt struck one of the towers. It was engulfed in flames that raged for three days. A sudden downpour finally put out the blaze, and that is how the Burnt Tower came to be. And yet we get attacked by this guy again. Let me see your power. Oh, okay. Bring it. Here we go. Take it on. Sage Koji, or Koji. And yes, he's coming out with another knockdown, so this, I guess these guys have the evolutions and whatnot. All right, eat. All right, Nessie. Time to do your thing. Body slam. Let's see. Make it three in a row. Paralysis. Come on. And no. 
So yeah, this Pokemon is ready to go right here with its, uh, its Reflect. So we're just gonna keep on body slamming it. And there we go. Here comes a Foresight. Don't know why you're using that. I'm not, you know, trying to evade you. And there we go again. Oh, nearly defeats this guy. And we are put to sleep. Good gravy. Okay. Thankfully, I am a very responsible Pokemon trainer, so let's go right ahead and use the full heal. And, well, peg attack right here. Let's go right ahead and body slam this Pokemon yet again. And just like that, bam. Okay. So, here comes Vaporeon. Let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go straight for Smoke. Ooh. Oh yeah. So yeah, I did trade my Hypno, or my, my, my Haunter, and my... What was it called? Uh, my Hypno? No, no, no. My Haunter and my Kadabra for... Just so, just so I could trade these guys. And... Well, yeah, look at that. It, we're, we're doing a pretty good job right here. They are very, very tempting Pokemon. Look, they're tempting Pokemon, I should say. They're very tempting to actually have, and this guy has Bite. Oh, crap. Okay, so we gotta go with Lick. Paralyze it just a little. And no, this guy is crap baskets. Okay, so he <laughs> Yeah, we don't need it. We don't need any of that stuff. So let's go let's go to Polyswag right here. It does have a move where it can actually beat this guy. So here we go. What's up, Polyswag? It's been a while. Doesn't really affect us much. And let's go body slam. Everybody has a body slam. I I seem there's just like a little pattern right there. And well Paralysis. Okay, and there comes a sand attack, but it fails to do so. So let's finish this guy off. Body slam, and it nearly defeats Vaporeon. But here comes another bite attack. All right, Polyswag, time to do its thing. There it is. Body slam for the win, and just like that, we have defeated all three of these monks. And bam, Koji has been defeated. Too strong! Why? Because I am legit. You. Are you the trainer who is awaited by the legendary Pokemon? I see. We, the Wise Trio, have been given a responsibility of protecting the legendary Pokemon. We are to allow passage only to those people who possess the power and soul of truth. Please do go on and enter the Tin Tower ahead. Suicune will, be put, will put you to the test. Okay, so first is first, guys. I gotta heal up my Pokemon because, yeah, that that was an intense battle, and I gotta switch up a few moves just so I can make this thing work. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back, going into the Tin Tower. There is a bit of a few things that we have to keep in mind. One being we have to save our game because this is going to be an intense battle right here. Suicune is a bit of a you know what when it comes to try and capture you. Suicune is also at level 40, I believe, and it is a very good Pokemon to actually try and have on your team. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go... We're gonna be very strategic about this whole thing. We're gonna go... with Chico first. Only because it does have Reflect. We're gonna be switch training, we're gonna be doing things. Well, let's see what it, like, let's see how this goes right here, okay? We might have a good, we, we might have to do a few tries, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, uh, you guys ready? I'm ready. All right, maximum effort. Uh, let's read this first. Tin Tower, a legendary Pokemon is said to roost here. Okay, maximum effort, let's go. And just like that, we got the three legendary dogs, Raikou and Entei. Still getting used to saying Raikou instead of Raikou, and BAM! There's the legendary song, so here it is, guys. We're going up against the legendary dog, Suicune itself, and yes, level 40. It is going to be a tough Pokemon to actually try and get by, so we're going to go with a Reflect just so we can cut off a few HPs on this guy. And yes, this guy likes, yeah, this guy likes to do the most right here. So here we go, Razor Leaf for the win. Not really. 
And yes, okay, so we're gonna be lowering its thing. And one of the one of its strategies is it likes to use rain dance. If you guys don't know, rain dance powers up both water and electric type moves. If you have a move such as thunder, and rain dance is in effect. Yeah, it will never miss. Rain Dance will also weaken uh, fire type moves, so just uh, be aware of that. Alright, time to be a very strategic majig. Let's go. Let's go with smoke. Alrighty. So we're gonna be doing this. How's it going? And here comes a gust attack. Now that really would have messed this stuff a little. And, well, let's go with a little hypnosis right here. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and take a let's let's go ahead and take a uh, yeah let's go ahead and take a risk right here let's go with a nightshade attack it will automatically take away 40 points and there we go okay all right sweet coon time for you to be mine all right let's go ahead and throw some balls at it let's go with the ultra ball right here or no a great ball let's go come on sweet coon be with us. Go to the dark. God dang it! Okay, so there we go. That's one. And it woke up, so yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be experiencing some stuff right here, and that is a critical hit. Thanks to the. Yeah, thanks to the rain dance. So, let's go straight to Nessie right here. That way, none of these attacks actually have any kind of effect. We got to get it to go to sleep, and here comes its rain dance again. Again, remember, guys, rain dance buffs up the whole water type attacks. Don't want to mess with that. So here we are. We are putting this Pokemon to sleep. Rain dance is gone. Let's go with an Ultra Ball right here. We actually can serve three Ultra Balls. Thanks. Well, two of them we found in the Radio Tower, and there's one. There's two. Oh! Almost had it. Okay, sweet coon, come on. Don't be lame. You're gonna get a cool nickname. A very, very cool nickname. Come on, don't be lame. Stay with us. Be with us. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh! And, uh, yeah, this this Pokemon, it, it is not responding too well right now with me. So, let's go right ahead and do one more Ultra Ball, since we only have one more Ultra Ball. And, come on. Don't be lame, Suicune. Why are you being lame? Come on. And okay, so Spikoon of course is being is, is still asleep. This will actually enable us to go with the great balls. I, I I knew we were gonna go with great balls. I mean, we always do. There we go. Damn you, Suicune, god dang it. Okay, so let's see, still fast asleep. I am not afraid of you, Suicune. The rain has stopped. Your strategy has fallen. So let's go with the great ball right here. We could have used a fastball. Probably could have used the fastball, but it, it wouldn't have had any effect right there. And yeah, Suicune, of course, is going to wake up right here. And here comes another rain dance. This is the reason why we got Nessie in this situation, because Gust or any kind of water type attacks won't affect it as much. And here we go, put it to sleep. Capture teams, you got to love them, right? There we go. Okay, so back to throwing some balls at it. Let's go. Here's some balls right in your face. There we go. Stay in the ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. Come on. Damn it! See? Trust issues. I definitely have trust issues. Good gravy. Okay, and... Let's go. Great ball right here. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. Seriously? Oh my god. And Suicune, you're still asleep. You're, you know... By the time you wake up, you're going to have to do Rain Dance all over again, so we're just putting you in a loop. Just stay in the ball. Come on. You get a cool nickname. There's benefits. Insurance. And, uh, yeah, still asleep. And that Rain Dance is going to come down. Yep. And let's go again. Come on, Great Ball. Don't fail me now. Come on. Stay in the ball. One. Damn it! Okay. If I go Speed Button... We might just capture it after like the sixth ball. And that is probably not gonna happen, so let's go right ahead and throw another great ball at this guy. Come on, stay in the ball. You a-hole! Okay. Alrighty, so still fast asleep. This is, okay. 
we should be capturing this Pokemon right now, but it's just being lame, okay? So come on, stay in the ball. Nessie, just stay pretty right there. You know, you could stay in the Pokeball, like, on top of it. And there it is! Throwing out the peace sign. How do you like me now, guys? That's right, capture team. Hashtag capture team, there we go. Okay, so we captured Suicune. Look at that, I feel lighter. I feel like, you know, the weight of the world's off me. You guys will stop picking on me and all that cred. Okay, so here we have Suicune, the Aurora Pokemon. This divine Pokemon blows around the world. Always in search of pure a, of a pure reservoir. Reservoir. And yes, we're going to be giving this Pokemon a nickname. Remembering the original Pokemon uh, Crystal? I bequeath you the nickname Sweet Boom. That's right, guys. Sweet boom, because it's boom. There we go. Okay, and wow, well, everybody and their mothers are coming out, and they're like, awesome, too awesome. Even I've never seen a battle that great. That was truly inspiring to see. Suicune was tough, but you you were even more incredible, Draven. I heard Suicune's mystic power summons a rainbow-colored Pokemon. Maybe, just maybe, what went on today will cause that Pokemon to appear. I'm going to study the legends more. Thanks for showing me instead of that fantastic battle. Later, Draven. Oh, he's jealous. He is jelly. Okay, alrighty. When the Brass Tower burned down, three nameless Pokemon were said to have perished in that... or to have perished. It was tragic. However, a rainbow-colored Pokemon, in other words, Ho-Oh, Descended from the sky and gave them new life to these three Pokemon. They are Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. Yes, I am not butchering that nick that name anymore. So there you go, guys. And well, if we capture Raikou, I'm gonna piss you guys off. So anywho, that is how that is what they say. Hmm. Okay, what do you have to say, homeboy? According to the legend, when the souls of Pokemon and humans commune, from the heavens descends a Pokemon of rainbow colors. It. It, or could it mean that the legendary Pokemon are testing us humans? Yes, they are. And uh, the two towers are said to have been built to foster friendship and hope between Pokemon and people. That was 700 years ago, but the ideal still the ideal still remains important today. And of course, Tully has to message us. Oh crud! Okay, perfect day for fishing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care. Nobody cares, man. I defeat Raticades all the time. Leave me alone. Okay, so, feeling like pimps. That's right. Walking, strutting, like Ric Flair. That's right. Whew. Okay, so, now you guys see why I have a capture team. All right, we're not going to be using these Pokemon in this game right here, except for just capturing, you know, the legendary Pokemon. Yes, they will be leveled up. And, um, you know... Hopefully it will work out later on, but it, you, you guys now see it made it a little easier for me. So, yes. In the next episode, now we are able to go to the next route, which will be Route 44, all the way to Ice Path. And going into our 8th gym battle, so I cannot wait for all this to happen, guys. This is going to be freaking fantastic. Yes. Anywho... I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Comment down below if you guys would like. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, links in the description. And yeah, there's a heart button right there. I would go to the heart button if you guys want to keep this channel running. You know, put a little donation. It's only like a dollar or so. And yes, if you guys want to join this channel just to see exclusive videos, exclusive uh, content, walkthroughs, and all that stuff, go right ahead. It's on the front page. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. See you guys.